Hey guys, welcome back to another LEGO Transformers video. Today we're going to be going over LEGO Transformers Bone Crusher. As you can see, Bone Crusher's alt mode is this little bulldozer design. Now, I really like this because, I mean, I just think it looks a lot like a bulldozer. And it's very accurate in scale, I think, to a lot of the other um, vehicles that I have. And to demonstrate, here is it next to LEGO Transformers Scrapper, this little payloader. And obviously the payloader is quite large, so I think, I think it's in scale, and I think they look really well together, obviously, as Constructicons. Oh, I also made some slight adjustments to um, Scrapper. You can probably notice that I'll go over in a later video. But nothing too major to the transformation. Speaking of which, let's get on to Bone Crusher's transformation. So first thing, just flip up this bucket. Then rotate down the treads. Just flip it down like that. Do the same thing on this side. Rotate it down. Then flip up these pieces, rotate that decorative ball joint piece, then just rotate these shoulder bits, flip out the cab, flip it up, rotate this piece down, rotate the whole pelvis part around like that. Then rotate the shoulders all the way around, rotate these sections, flip out the hands, then do the same on this side, and just like the almost, and there, there is Lego Transformers Bone Crusher. As you can see, uh, the transformation is relatively simple compared to a lot of my other mocks, as he is significantly smaller than uh, most of my other transformers. So, speaking of which, here is um, Deadlift. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second. Deadlift here to scale. And they're around the same size, but the only reason they're about the same height is because a bone crusher's head is quite tall compared to uh, old deadlift over here. But of course, he has the signature little clip hands that he can use to grab weaponry and such. Well, I guess Scrapper didn't have them, but that was because bucket hands, but you know. Speaking of which, I should probably make a video over weapon designs for them to hold, but that's for... Uh, future things. Now he doesn't really have any head articulation. You guess I guess you could move it up and down, but side to side and anything like that is out of the picture. Now he does have some pelvis rotation here, but that requires that these clips be perfectly straight, which limits other articulation. And he technically has some knee articulation, but it's a little fiddly to balance them on these little stick legs, so most of the time I just keep them straight like this. And he also has some decent arm articulation with a the rotation there, up and down like this, another rotation here, and of course, a little wrist thing and that can move around. You can also move this piece, but that requires that this shoulder joint just be fixed in this position, otherwise uh, these two clips would interfere with each other. But anyways, this has been One Brick at a Time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!